Hello there guys and welcome to your Rust Update preview on the 31st of January 2019. We have an array of new electrical items this week, some of which all tie in together. First up we have the RF receiver. Simply put, it receives radio signals. Radio signals will be able to be manually set between 1 and 10 million. The receiver essentially acts as a switch. Do note that the lantern model is just a placeholder. Next up we have the detonator, essentially a way of sending a radio signal. This can be set to any frequency by holding down right click. Once the frequency is set, press left click to power any receiver. Note that when you let go of left click, the power will stop. Following this we have the RF broadcaster. This is similar to the receiver, except it continuously sends out a frequency that has been set while it is powered. Clearly, also here, the lantern model is a placeholder. Lastly, for the radio frequency devices, we have the RF pager. This has been added, but has zero functionality. It is uncraftable and currently unobtainable. Obviously, this could very well change, or it could never become obtainable and never even work. We also have two brand new lights added to the game. The first of which is the siren light. The siren light simply stays lit and spins around, giving off two decent sized beams of red light, so long it is powered. And then next we have the flasher light. Every two seconds while it is powered, it will flash very quickly three times. I will break down the cost of all of these items next week in the actual update video, but just note that currently they only all require a level 1 workbench to craft. Work on the minicopter is continuing and hopefully it will be ready for next week's update. The oil rig is also still being worked on and it appears that it just is finishing touches, so hopefully that will also be here. There is also work going in on new water, new palm trees, and a Chinese New Year event. And it appears that there is some work going on around a new Unity update. Whether or not that will be ready for next week's update is anybody's guess. Hopefully though it will bring some optimizations when it does get here. That is everything that has gone on this week in terms of Rust updates. I hope you guys have enjoyed and if you have make sure you hit that like button. And if you would like to see more content, make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day.